My god. They finally did it, the maniacs. They're all dead. Wonder if I could go find Scarlett Johansson's corpse. Welcome to Roundtable, I'm Paul Jameson. With us, Eric E. Carlton from the New York Times, former Senator Leanne Greenwald, and Ramsey, a time traveler with a bleak message regarding the future of existence. Thank you for being here, all of you. Eric, we'll start with you. Really? Hi, Paul. Now, given the economy's current situation, do you believe that Wall Street will bounce back, or is this just the new status quo? Well, this is a rapidly evolving situation, let's remember. Every day, new facts come in. My thought is that- I have seen the future, and I come with a message that all men must hear. In the weeks that follow. Ramsey, the... please, uh, everyone here gets their chance to speak. If you could just wait your turn. Right, sorry. Eric. Thank you. Uh, as I was saying, uh, the feeling in Washington right now is one of caution, not fear. Of course, you know, this is all speculation. Paul, may I cut in? Absolutely, Senator Greenwald. Did. From where I stand, the Dow has a lot of bouncing back to do, but it's nothing we haven't seen before. I'm sorry for interrupting, but she just cut in and you didn't have a problem with that. Ramsey, everyone here gets their chance to talk. If you can just let Senator Greenwald continue speaking. Leanne, as you were. Thank you. As I mentioned, basically, the economy has its peaks and its troughs. I think that if we're patient, this too shall pass. Incorrect. No. Now, Ramsey. Yes. Finally. Changing gears for a moment. This is the current cover of Time magazine. As you see, it asks, is religion real? Do you believe our country is putting too much emphasis on faith and not enough just dealing with the issues that are currently affecting us? I am from the future. I have a message of, of bloodshed and anguish that must be heard. So yes, our country is putting too much emphasis on faith. Are you just gonna move on without letting me give my warning after I say yes? Ramsey says yes. Eric, America and Pakistan's relationship is very strained. What does the future hold for these two countries? I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Paul, is there any chance that the names on the prompter got switched? Because that question ties in directly to my terrifying pronouncement. Uh, my producer, Alan, is shaking his head no. Uh, Eric, go ahead. <laughs> Man, you know, these situations vacillate so rapidly. I would be surprised if in, say, the next year, you didn't find that the United States and Pakistan are the closest of allies. What? No, no. In the next 22 years, Pakistan is going to be the Paul? first country Paul? to develop... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is ridiculous, okay? Ramsey is sitting there impugning my expertise. Just because you've uh, traveled to the future or whatever, that doesn't make you an expert on global relations. Uh, no, but I'm an expert on how everyone dies. Paul, if I may. Senator Greenwald, yes. I agree with Eric on America and Pakistan. That's two against one. Uh, Alan, is my microphone working? Unfortunately, we are all out of time. I'd like to thank all of my guests for being here today and sharing their expertise. Ramsey, we'll have you back again soon. No, you won't. I know for a fact that you won't. Coming up next, House Minority Whip Alan Colby and political funny man Bill Maher discuss their visions on the end of existence. God damn it! Guests of Roundtable travel via U.S. Airways or by destroying the fabric of time and space.